Go to the Tools panel of Illustrator and go to Line Segment Tool, then down to Rectangular Grid Tool. And with that, apply the grid. Now, by default, you'll end up with probably something like this, where it's got nothing, no stroke, no fill. However, you can always quickly set a stroke, set it like that, say to red, any color, simply by having it selected and just changing the color here. You can also change the stroke, so stroke width, so you can see it, of course, makes it even easier. If you want to fill, of course, you can always go here and set it maybe to brown, green, etc. Personally, I generally always keep it like that. What you can also do is you can obviously modify the stroke, click there on the stroke, then you maybe go for dashed lines. So a whole range of different designs can be created. So deselect that and maybe make it 12. What you can also do, you can go over here to width profiles. So a whole variety of different ones here you can use. So width profile, go down here, you can create all kinds of different designs. And also, if you want, you can add charcoal or any other brush. Of course, there's a vast number of brushes. So you can click there, that brush. Obviously, there's not that many. You've got bristle brushes and so on. So you can create some really odd grids there. Now, I'm just gonna undo that. Actually, I'm gonna remove it. So apply it again. And again, just change that so you can actually see it. Well, what you can also do is you can manipulate individual ones as well. So you can go over here to the layers, find that in the window menu, so layers, and you can see the structure of this. You've got layer, and you've also got group, and you can expand that out. So individual paths in this, you can see that it's all made up of individual paths, lots of them. You can select that, just go there and select it, and you can see now it's been selected. So you can go and change it. So go maybe for red or pink, maybe change the size. So go for 20, you can move it, maybe change that and so on. Use the direct selection tool, manipulate the line and so on and so on. So you can create even more grids using that. Now, if you don't want to create a grid that size, what you can also do is press turn or double click and you get this. And you can say, you know what, I want it to be five and five. That's actually the default. And if you want to set it back to default, you just hold down the alter option key and you will get C reset appear. So you have to do that. Always forget that to do that. But however, you can do that. Click OK and now apply it. And again, just set the strokes. So you can actually see it. Well, what you can also do is you can expand it. So say you don't want this as pass strokes, etc. What you can do, you can expand the whole thing. Just go to object and expand and it becomes like a standard fill. And then of course what you can do, you can group it in other ways, combine, use Pathfinder. So go to Window and Pathfinder, uh, this Pathfinder, and then use the Unite. And it's all united into one single path. And of course then you can fill it with different colors, manipulate it, and you can also fill these as well, the cells. You can do that as well before. So you can go over here to Live, let's just select that, Live Paint Bucket. Live Paint Bucket's really useful. Just change the color, maybe go with orange, and then with that selected, you can hover over there, click, and you can just run through them using the arrows. So you can see the colors change, and you can say, oh, I want that to be green, and so on. So you can see you can create a variety of different designs that way. Remove that again. Again, just draw that, and let's just put this red, make the stroke again so you can see it. You can apply other effects as well. So you can always go to effect, maybe go to 3D materials, extrude and bevel. So Straight away, you've got a nice 3D design very quickly using that. Undo that, or go to effect, maybe go down to blur and Gaussian blur. So you can create a nice blurry effect with your design and so on. Literally thousands of possible designs. Maybe you go to object down here, envelope distort, make with warp. So you can warp your design. A whole range of different warps can be used as well as other ones that can manipulate it even more. So undo that. What you can also do, of course, is you can combine it. You don't need just that. Maybe hold down the alter option key and duplicate the design and release. Once you've done that, you can move that around. Sometimes actually today, it's for some weird reason, it doesn't seem to want to select. I don't know why, but you can change the color of that one. You don't have to have them the same color and you can create all kinds of different grids. Maybe rotate it. So just rotate the design, combine it in different ways. Again, maybe that one, decide, no, opacity, reduce the opacity down so it's faded. Maybe fill it with text. So just select that, maybe go over there, add some text to there. Text on part, you can see a whole range of different designs that can be created. So add some text to it, whole range. Well, hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know. Thank you much.